Greetings to you. Bishop Better here, your bishop. It's here again. Lent is right around the corner. So I want to come a little earlier here before Lent so it doesn't catch us off guard, uh, but to encourage us uh, already now to say to Jesus, Jesus, what do you want me to, for, what do you want for me this Lent? I know one of the things he desires for all of us, huh? Is more of us. <laughs> he wants us completely. Uh, not to hold anything back and to have a deep trust in him and confidence in him and his love and care for us. But just to ask him, what would you like me to do? And then just a few suggestions. One thing I've often said, uh, I think really the best thing that we can do, uh, if you want to talk concretely, you know, what, what do I do for Lent? If you're able to go to a daily mass during the week or maybe each day during Lent, it makes quite a difference. The readings, the sacred word, uh, Jesus himself speaking to us through scripture. Uh, is, they're so powerful for Lent uh, and the prayers. It's, it's, it's the best guide. I mean, it really is. If you're not able, if maybe you don't have mass in your parish each day because you're out in uh, a, a more rural area, try to make a stop by a visit uh, to the church, to your parish church or to a church when you're in a larger city uh, for five minutes. It makes quite a difference. And the other thing I would encourage, some of people have been asking me, um, how do we deal with suffering? I thought to myself, when did I learn about suffering and what to do with it? And I think it was from my mom, I know that, when it didn't go my way, and she'd say, offer it up. And she didn't mean it as a cop-out, she really meant it, to offer it up to Jesus, to unite it with him on the cross. And it's amazing that we can help save the world. <laughs> Right? That's what Jesus says. St. Paul says we make up for what's lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Incredible. But I also learned it from doing the, praying the Stations of the Cross during Lent. We went every Wednesday night, um, all of us. The church would be packed um, praying the Stations of the Cross. It made a, a huge impact on me. I still remember being able to identify different things in my own life of saying, Jesus, you fell too. You got back up. You were scourged and laughed at. Right? All these different things. Um, and to identify with him and he with us. So I encourage you, if it's been a while since you've prayed the Stations of the Cross, to get back in there. Right? They're not just decorations on our wall <laughs> of the church because we have space. Uh, I'm planning on doing it at the cathedral again this year. I did a few of them last year. Uh, I miss them. Right? It's a wonderful thing to do uh, anytime, but especially during Lent. So I, I encourage you, uh, spend a little time See how you're going to enter Lent more deeply. It's our annual retreat to go deeper with the living God. God bless you and know my prayers. Pray for me. Bye now.